In this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve a connection problem uh, with uh, uh, MongoDB when you are trying to debug your application that is made in, in .NET. Okay, as you can see, I'm getting the error uh, when I try to get the connection and, well, when I was trying to, uh, to use this endpoint. Something uh, interesting to see in this in this error it is this part it says unspecified local host okay I have uh, all the configuration for the for the docker compose and all the dockers uh, all the docker containers that that are running okay let's check uh, this configuration is in these files for example Okay, here and here I have uh, the containers. This is the container for the database. And uh, this is the port. This is the Mongo data where the data is going to persist. And this is the container for the API. Okay, something that we can, we have to check here in the ABB settings is the information for the connection to the database. In this case, uh, I have the connection stream. This is uh, for MongoDB, and it is specified a local host. Okay, and uh, if if we check again uh, this local host, uh, there is something suspicious here. And the reason is because uh, when you are using Docker Compose, you have to specify uh, the container that uh, or where the database is running okay in this case the container is mongo count and another thing we have to check is this um, configuration this is another file this is app settings dot uh, development and as you can see it doesn't have any information about the connection so for that reason it is going to take the information for this file and uh, to check or to see that it is going to use this file the application we can check the properties of the application in the debug properties and in this link open debug launch profiles we can see that for this uh, uh, this is the the server for .NET that we are going to execute it is using the development uh, value for the environment variable it means that it is going to use this file when we will be debugging the application so in this case we have to uh, copy this information to overwrite the connection let's copy this here the connection string and we are going to specify the container where we uh, we have to connect in this case is this mongo count I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste that information here Okay, everything is ready and I'm going to restart the application again my API and we're going to check if, if it gets connection with the database execute and as you can see we are uh, getting information from a specific table we're receiving three records and now we have the connection established because we are using the correct information for that connection